today is an exciting day. That's better. Today's an exciting day, you guys. As you know, we lived in Augusta until about a week and a half ago. Small town, a lot smaller than Dallas, but Dallas has some perks, and those perks are reptile stores. Today, we're going to the Serpentarium, which is in Richardson, Texas, a little bit north of Dallas. It's about 20 minutes away, so let's go ahead and start driving on over there. So we finally made it. I guess one bad thing about bigger cities is it takes a lot longer to get places, but we are here and I'm really excited and there's lots of animals. So let's go ahead and start looking at them. Okay, first thing I see right here, it's a hypo red corn snake. Look at that. How cool, man. I need a corn snake eventually for sure. But today we're not getting a corn snake. We're not getting any snake today, but we're gonna try to find what I want. I'm gonna surprise you guys in just a little bit. Look guys, okay, so there's some kind of king snake in here, but look, you recognize that? That's what I made Edward's humidity box out of. Burmese pythons. These are the guys that are invasive in Florida and get quite literally massive. 250 for Raylon, 450 for albino. Man, I just go in Florida and steal one, but I guess you can if you're in Texas. Okay, folks, this is what I want. We're gonna get a hog nose eventually. I'm not gonna say in a specific time because I don't know how long it'll be. Let me show you this Mexican black king snake real quick because he's out and he's actually exploring and stuff. They are so cool. Jet black. They stay pretty small. Uh, a Mexican black king snake would be awesome too. This one's 400. I think you can get them cheaper like on um, Morph Market and stuff, but oh, they're gorgeous. But here he is, guys. This is a little juvenile hog nose. This is just a Western wild type, so he's not anything specific. I would love to get a conda morph or super conda, but they're quite expensive, so probably end up just getting a regular wild type Western hog nose. But is that not the cutest little guy? Look at his little nose right there. You see his upturned nose? They actually use that for burrowing because they burrow quite a lot. It's almost like a little shovel for them. Very cool. These are actually mildly venomous rear fang snakes, but their venom is prey specific. What? Oh, there's a super condo. No way. He just fell down. <gasps> no way. Where? He came from like up there or something. Oh, that was a super condo. Did y'all see how his pattern was super reduced? Oh my God, that's so cool. But these guys, yeah, they're rear fanged. They'll focus. They're rear fanged and they have prey specific venom. So they eat pretty much exclusively amphibians. So that is a fun fact about the little hog nose. And here we have a Woma Python. Very similar to Black Headed Python, because obviously they don't have that black head. Super cool, super sleek looking snakes. This guy might be a little underweight, actually. You see his spine right there throughout. Not sure if he actually is. He could just not want to eat or something, but very cool. He's very curious, very active. Awesome to see. Now, it's supposed to be a scaleless rat snake in here. And Snake Discovery has actually hatched a bunch of these. I can't find him right now, but I'll link a video to them because they're super cool to see. They really don't have scales on them, or they'll have a few just randomly. But it's pretty much just skin, and it's really cool. And we have some more corn snakes. There's one hiding out right in there. And then there's also another one. His head was just sticking out right there, but I guess he hid from me. It's super cool. Corn snake will definitely be on the channel at some point in time. Probably the hog nose will come first, though. Now, I really wish these guys were out for you, but rainbow boas need incredibly high humidity and they're actually really hard to keep. As you can see, the soil is almost wet there because it needs to be like that to have, like, I think they need like 90% humidity all the time, something crazy like that. They're pretty hard to keep though, so a lot of people don't have them or they end up dying on them, which obviously is not good, um, but it's cool that they have them here. Tiger carpet python, he is actually right there, chilling up there in the top, it's super cool. This is super cute, look at these guys. Ball pythons with their heads just sticking out, chilling in there together. There's a bunch of ball pythons here. As you know, I'm not really into ball pythons. I think they're kind of basic and they don't really do much in their cages. Pythons and boas kind of aren't my thing in general. A lot of people like them. So obviously pretty much any reptile store you go to is gonna have a ton of them. And same with um, reptile shows. It'd be like 95% ball pythons, it's ridiculous. Look at this big old guy in his enclosure. He's probably like seven or eight feet long. And he's just chilling climbing through his branch. It's really cool that a lot of these snakes are out um, actually moving around right now, so it's awesome to see. This is a tegu, and you can see these monitors going nuts next to him. But tegus are actually super cool. I think Camp Kennan has one. Talked about him in the last video, but they get a lot bigger than this, and that is just, he's just chilling. It's the first one I've seen actually in person, I think. And then typical monitor behavior, they're going nuts. These are Aki monitors. Look at them. This is how monitors behave, man. They're just super high energy, move around a lot. I think that's why a lot of people like them because a lot of ectotherms just chill and don't do anything. So these guys, at least are moving around a lot, really active. I'm sure they're fun to watch eat. So super cool little guys. Bearded dragons here. This is like some cool kind of leatherback, maybe? Hypo leatherback? That is super cool. Really sick. Indonesian blue ton tongued skink. I love these guys. They're actually super cool. If I got any lizard, this definitely would be a potential one. These guys are 400 bucks though. 
Egyptian Euromasty. Look at these dudes. They're some unique looking guys. They got skin of an old man and then that really cool tail. What I really want to mention is how nice all of their enclosures are. They're super natural. They're not like breeding style enclosures. They're just super cool. Looks like the animals can thoroughly enjoy them. They're big. That's one of the most important things to me. Like I mentioned in that previous video of rating reptile YouTubers, big enclosures are such a plus for this. Like it's so cool to see animals that are in kind of a natural environment. You can see them behave how they're supposed to behave in the wild and all that stuff. And I just love to see it. And we got some chameleons. Man, I love chameleons. I don't know if I'll ever get one because I've heard horror stories of owning them, but they are super freaking cool. Got this guy right here, so it'll focus on him. There he is. Look how cool. Look at his eyes. Oh my god. God, look at these box turtles. This is another cutest little guy. And look at this tunnel they made for him. How cool is that? Dude, I love these enclosures. This is so cool. They have Easterns and Three Toed. Easterns are what we have in Augusta, and I'm, I feel like I've done a video on him before, but there he is. He's just chilling back there. He's so tiny. It looks like a musk turtle right there, and there's supposed to be pink bellied side necks. Yep, there's one. Chilling back there. Side neck turtles are super cool. Their head actually goes to the side instead of straight back into their shell. And these are just tiny little babies. They also have a ton of supplies in here. Super cool. They had a bunch of hides on the other side of me. Let's see what's in this big tank right here. Yeah, it says Aldebra tortoise. Don't really know anything about these guys, but this is the shop pet. So this guy is living here for the rest of his life. He's got a nice big enclosure all to himself, it looks like. And his name is Pearl, or her name, I guess. The super conda is out. Oh my god. That is the coolest freaking thing, dude. God, I want one so bad. Look how beautiful they are. I might have to save up and buy a super conda instead of a wild morph. It's not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life. Oh my god. Wow. The scaleless rat is out. Look at him. I don't know why you can tell that, but you see how he has just some random scales on there? Pretty much doesn't have any. That is so cool. Rat snakes are known for climbing, and he's just chilling up there. And then some of these corn snakes around now. I think this is an Okiti corn snake. You see how his pattern is super unique, not like a wild type. And then I don't know where the other ones are, but there's supposed to be a Okiti Tessera. I don't really know what that is, so maybe that is him. And then a classic, and I don't see him either. And to finish it off, they have some Bon Jovi playing in the background. Hopefully it's not loud enough for uh, YouTube to figure it out and try to take down this video thank you guys so much for watching this place is pretty incredible it has tons of cool stuff hopefully i'll come back here and get a western hog nose at some point hopefully that super conda that would be freaking sick i'm so excited really excited to get another snake eventually coming here soon look at this mexican black king snake he's going crazy of course he is, but okay. I don't want to keep ranting. Thank you guys so much. We're going to go to the Dallas-Fort Worth Reptarium very soon here. So get ready for that video. That'll be coming up hopefully in the next week or two. And that place, I think, is bigger than this. And it's only in Dallas. This is actually a chain. I think they have some in California. So this isn't just in Dallas. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any ideas for videos, make sure you comment them below. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn the bell on. All that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Edward says bye-bye.